grand about your health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the pond tar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir. Reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think. But then there's the non-human toll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance. A dozen or so chests and no more. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of... I need coin. Guess I have to take out a loan? Of course. I'll arrange... Just like that. Lady Yennefer of Vengerberg long ago declared herself your guarantor. Were these circumstances ever to arise? Besides, we tried and true methods for collecting debts. How can I... Wanna pay back? Splendid! I see you as even more credit worth... You play... Oh, so you... I... So... Why not? Yeah, not enough unit cards. Okay. So that's probably going to be the same thing for... That's probably going to be the same thing for a lot of these Gwen missions. So I'm just going to wait till I have the cards. Till I have the right cards needed. Top notch swords. Master crafted armor. Ooh. You might... Guildsman claim...
Oh, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. See right away, I've got the best deals this side of town. Top. What? So long. To Skirigar at your oh, age. Side quest. Now, the war on. You're daft. Any man will tell you that. We'll see. I'll post the notice. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Indeed. Going on some voyage looking for a companion, right? Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skelliger. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that, or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skelliger, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Cool. Quest updated. Okay. Please, this fine. 
Grand Witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, George's George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. Doubt it. <laughs> A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Get out versus George's George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenford Gate. There's a quest here as well. No, you should have come to the wrong place. Jonas swore it was for Tory's handiwork. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey, a vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Idea Hattori, former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. 
Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars men. Take it he's important in the underworld, too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss-poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. What can you tell me about these fights? Bouts are held in Novigrad, the Skellige Isles, and in Belen. Each region has its champion, but to face the said champion, you must first defeat three other contenders in that region. Defeat the champions of Belen, Skellige, and Novigrad, and you will win the prestigious title of Champion of Champions. Champion Archibald O'Neill to face Geralt. Fight! Fighting tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. The man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill. Bravo to Geralt. A beautiful bout. Want to be crowned the best in Novigrad. Who do I gotta fight? Well, if you yearn to fight some more, you must certainly face the captain of the guard. Which is coming? It's clear as the attack.
after dusk. Okay. I'll finish off this quest first. So DLC, we're not going to do those yet. Okay, we're going to wait on the Gwent stuff. So, cool. After this quest, we are going to do this one. Sweet. Gonna kill you. Another drifter in from Tamaria. I'm Geralt of Rivia. It matters not what you're called. It matters not where you're from. What matters is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer. Who organizes these fights? Tournaments like this have been held in Skellige, Velen, and Novigrad for ages. Each region has its own champion. Novigrad's is the tailor. Defeat Mortimer, and you'll gain the right to challenge him. I'm ready. Let's do this. Fight! Troops, here now! <laughs> Geralt of Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer! Behold your prize, champion! You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in Far Corners, and fight there as well after sundown. They're like necrophages, vile in appearance and reeking of dead men's bile. It's rotting flesh they truly crave. Seems every time you turn around, there's more scum on the Didn't used to allow me to destroy it. What's he doing here? Tailor cut out to remain uh, champion. Yep. 
We will soon know. Yes. Sticks of burnt flesh. Can they not burn those fires beyond the city walls? Ah, we've been expecting you. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? This elf's a dick. That been the case with all champions of Novigrad? No, I am the first. Do you know why they call me the Tailor? It began after I gutted some men with these very hands. <sighs> I knew that was going to be a shitty story. Came here to fight the Tailor, so let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. You're not scared, are you? <laughs> Champion no more. Henceforth, the title belongs to the Drifter. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, you'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. Sticks of burnt flesh. Can they not burn those pyres beyond the city walls? Aaron B. I wonder if I can at least do this, just talk to him and sign up, basically. stakes here. Firstly, we must have the proper effects. 
Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? As I thought, let's return once we've collected better cards, hmm? And a thousand crowns for the buy-in, of course. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, you're going card collection by winning powerful cards off other players. Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. So the, uh, the staff hasn't changed since then? Oh, of course it has. It does so incessantly in this business. Riley Burphy married a merchant. Ella struck out on her own. And you'll likely find Cerise Crane at the temple. I alone remain. So, shall I summon the girls? Just remember, this is a decent establishment, paused to yourself to start with, and our girls are well-mannered. The range of subjects they discuss in detail, I myself find it daunting. Actually, I'd just like to... Like Narcissa, perhaps not the prettiest, but she's by far the most inventive. And as my dearly departed mother would say, the fun's not in the face. I'd love to meet the rising generation of Passiflora buds. DLC, DLC, Gwent, Gwent, Gwent. Oh, this is the one that I was trying to do. Two pints, cause you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hair and sod off. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here before I get tired of playing make believe. I see you <laughs> lot are tough in the town and nowhere else. Fuck this, we're gonna let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turn. Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. Good luck with that. Wait. You helped me once. Perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. For more than a kind word this time. What's involved? 
Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now, what makes you think I need either of those? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for your pay. What say you to that? Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. Man. Of course it crashed. As the Emperor's spies told him, Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Merigold. It doesn't fucking crash this time. <coughs> Hold on, I need to see if... I need to see if I actually did something for my... What? Oh my god, of course. Oh, this fucking... Annoying. Okay, cool. some unexpected adventures along the way. However, we can now focus on our core concern, and that is what matters. Who's the fella followed you here? He's my gardener. I never go anywhere without him. <laughs> He's good luck, you see. Just no funny stuff. Got it? What's going on here? Oh, listen. 
Mind watering those cornflowers over there? No cornflowers here. Look harder. Right, on with it before winter snows surprise us. Got four quarts for you now. I can get you another two real quick. Provided you're not lying about demand. I am Ginter de Lavira, and I never go back on my word. I had no trouble distributing the last four quarts, and I assure you there's demand for more. We'll see about that. For now, you owe me 5,000 crowns for the last batch. We agreed on 4,000. And I don't like cheats. I suggest you refrain from trying to pull anything lest you feel a witcher's blade in your gut, right? Don't care who owes who or how much, but this man is supposed to pay me, so I'd rather he not get fleeced. Huh. Witcher or not, you can't hope to drop us all. Wanna find out? Peace brings prosperity. Strife's bad for business. Fine, make it 4,000. Let's go. Pure pleasure doing business with you. Well, that went better than I ever expected. We done with our walk? Yes. And here's your pouch. One question. Who buys your fist egg? No, oh, friends in high places. I have many. They pay exceedingly well, though they're demanding as clients. The fist tech must be of the purest variety. Pleasure meeting you. Here we go. Find a boat headed to Skellige. Oh. Ah. Oh. 